What is going on everybody? It's your boy BJ coming at you with another video and I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. It is a morning time. I am filming probably uh, as early as, it's been a long time since I filmed the video this early in the morning. It's a little after nine o'clock and usually I film in the afternoon, but I'm feeling very inspired. I woke up early this morning. I woke up uh, around uh, 5, 10 a.m. And normally I would have gone back to bed, but you know what? I want to start waking up early. Uh, it's a habit that successful people do, and I would like to continue uh, in my journey to uh, continuing to become a more successful person. I want to develop successful habits. So um, I got up. Uh, it felt good. Uh, I did my morning prayer, my morning uh, reading and scripting, and I got my workout done. And I got all of that done before 7 in the morning, and it felt amazing. So I think that uh, I might start regularly waking up. Um, around that time, if not five, uh, any time around, maybe, uh, you know, any time between five and six, uh, that's cool. Uh, I think I might make that daily habit, but it felt really good just to get all that done. I have so much more day ahead of me to do other uh, things that, you know, I have to get done. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Again, it's really a pleasure and an honor to have your viewership and to have you here. Um, oh, before we get into this video, if you could give this video a thumbs up, uh, I really appreciate it. It does help uh, my video get circulated out into the YouTube universe. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, it helps my content get out there more uh, so that I can continue to inspire, motivate, and encourage you to live your best life. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Today, my friends, I want to talk to you about the importance of being yourself because God doesn't bless you pretend to be. God blesses who you are. And a lot of times as people, we try to take on the personas of other people or we try to pretend to be something that we are not. Why? Most of the time people do that because they're ashamed of who they are. They're not happy with who they are. They're not really happy with how they feel, not really happy with how they look. So what they do is they try to emulate or um, mimic the behaviors of other people. Maybe because they feel like they're not good enough to be who they truly are. Which is unfortunate because when God created you, he created you to be a perfect masterpiece. He molded you and formed you in his image. So nothing about you is imperfect in his eyes. Everything about you is flawless. Now I know that we as people have flaws and we make mistakes and that's who we are because we're human. But God created you and he called you a perfect creation. He called you a masterpiece. And a lot of times we forget that. We forget that we were created as a masterpiece. We forget that we were created in the image of God. And when you go into the day uh, remembering this, knowing that you're special, that you are not just here just floating in time, you are literally a special creation created by the hands of God. And when you really think about it, it's like, wow, like I was literally formed and created by the hands of God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, the entire universe. And he created me and calls me a masterpiece. Like once you realize that you start to live differently and you can never receive your full blessings if you're too busy trying to act like and be like somebody else who has their own calling and their own blessings on their lives. You can't try and be a an artist or like a singer or a rapper if you know that your gifts are writing. If you know that your gifts has always been writing to write books and things like that, but you're trying to be what somebody else is being because you see the success that they have in their area of life. When in all actuality, you have your own success that you can achieve and you'll have your own fandom and fan base if you just go for what's true to you. And that's the problem. A lot of people miss their blessings because they don't walk in their spiritual gifts. They don't walk in their calling. And a lot of times people think that spiritual gifts always has to relate to something that has to do with the church. And that's not always what spiritual gifts are. 
Now, spiritual gifts are good to use in the church. And whatever that might be, maybe you sing in the choir, maybe you play instruments, maybe you're a preacher or a minister, uh, maybe you have the gift of, uh, of caring and prayer. Um, th there are so many different gifts in the church, but God doesn't just limit your gifts of being just used in the church. He blesses you with gifts so that you can enjoy life because that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to enjoy life and have life more abundantly. So that includes your spiritual gifts as well as other gifts and talents. LeBron James, for example, he's a gifted basketball player. He's a gifted athlete. He played football in high school and he could have gone to the NFL, but basketball was his first love. That was where he saw himself going to play basketball. Tom Brady, a gifted football player. He, he's gifted in that. This, it's like the guy can play football and, and score three touchdowns with his eyes closed. That's how gifted he is. Now, I'm not saying he's really going to do that, but I'm just saying figuratively speaking. Denzel Washington, he has a gift in acting. This is why he's one of the top actors in the world. Everyone knows who Denzel Washington is. That is his gift. Beyonce has a gift in singing. Her voice is like the voice of an angel. It's so beautiful. She has the most beautiful voice ever. She has a gift in singing. That's her gift. So, what is your gift? Really, ask yourself, what is your gift? What is it that you're gifted at? What is it that you enjoy doing and you could do this every day? What is it that you can do that takes the least amount of effort to do to reap amazing results? Once you find what your gift is and you're honest with yourself, you can fully be yourself and walk into your gifts. And God will bless you for walking in your gifts, for being yourself, for not trying to be anybody else, but to be yourself. Hey, you could be a content creator. If your gift is content creation and you like creating things, maybe short films, uh, maybe YouTube videos, whatever that is, if that's your gift, then you stay consistent in your gift. You nourish that gift. You walk in that gift. You stay consistent with that gift. And God can bless that gift because you're being obedient to who you are and true to who you are. If you're somebody who loves content creation, but you're trying to go out and run a marathon, and that's not who you are, then obviously that's, there's going to be a clash. Now I'm not saying that you can't get ready for a marathon because any, you can train for a marathon if that's what you uh, would like to do, if that's a desire of yours. But if your gift is not to play baseball or soccer, then you've never played it your whole life. Then all of a sudden you say, hey, I want to do that because A-Rod was a very successful baseball player. And if he did it, I could do it. But that was never your gift. Then obviously you're trying to do something that's not you. You want to do what's true to you. And when you live life that's true to you, God can bless your trueness your authenticity, our individual, our individuality is what makes us who we are. If we were all created the same, this would be a boring place to live in. If we were all the same color, had the same hair, had the same voice, we all talked the same, walked the same, acted the same, this would be such a monotonous just world. It would be so boring. So it's good that we have these differences because there's no one who can be you that is youer than you. I believe that's a Dr. Seuss quote. So understand that God can bless you with your gifts. And he can take even what you deem to be very minuscule and tiny and small. And he can expand that into something much greater than you ever imagined. Learn to embrace you. Learn to love you and learn to enjoy being you because this life that we have is a beautiful blessing and we only get the one. So why not live your life to the fullest and live a life that's true to you? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And also be sure to hit that bell icon. That way you can be notified whenever I do upload new content to the channel.
That way you won't miss a video that I upload and you'll be up to date with everything that's posted here. As usual, I love you. God bless you. I'll put some other videos up here that you can check out. Keep yourself entertained and inspired and motivated. I'll catch you guys in the next video.